Good morning, everybody. It's Saturday morning. I uh, have a lot of shopping and wrapping to do for Christmas, but of course my top priority is always going to be chess moves and variance moves. No, just kidding. Or am I? But anyway, I'm going to look here. You see there's a ton of moves, right, that I have to play today. Um, well, I don't have to, but I'm going to because I'm an addict. And um, the, f the first thing I like to do is see what kind of invites are out there. So we got some new person that wants to play round chess. So we'll just play that. Could do some auto replies, but we got so many moves to get through today. And it's Christmas Eve Eve today. So here's um, a round chess game. Let's see, have I ever played this person before? No, I have not. Okay. Then after I get my invites out of the way, um, I don't see any other ones that look exciting. I really, I'm not a huge fan of these four-handed chess and four-handed chess two variants anymore. I used to play them like nonstop, but I just got to the point where I said I really prefer double chess. So um, but you'll definitely see me making moves in that variant because everyone else seems to really like it. So they invite me to the games and then I pretty much never, ever, ever turn down an invite, ever. So if you want to play a particular variant, you can't find anybody to play it. Just go here to greenchess.net, invite Shogi, and just pick your variant. Or you can do like this Matt V guy here, Matt V00, and just invite me to every single variant ever, at least on this website. There are many, many, many variants that are not on green chess for as many as they have on here. Oh, yeah, speaking of double chess, this is my favorite um, four-player variant right here. It also happens to be the only um, four-player variant that the inventor of Gothic chess, or should I say Trice's chess, Ed Trice likes to play. And uh, we've had a couple of really awesome wins as a team. So, let's see. Where are we going to go next? I didn't really have a move to make in that one. I just was accepting an invite. How many Gothic uh, moves do we have? We have one, two. I have at least two Gothic moves. Uh, or should I say Trice's chess? Let's see. Should we make these moves or not? Should I do them in this video and for this channel, or should I save them for the Trice's chess channel? Um, let's see, okay. I want to see how interesting these moves are, because if they're going to be like ones I have to think about. Anytime I have a move I have to actually think about, then I like to save that for last. Oh, this is interesting. Look at this. Uh, if I take with the pawn, he'll be in check, and he can't take with the queen because it's pinned. So then he'll have to take with the chancellor. No, no. Well, if he takes with the pawn, he just hangs the queen. And if he takes with the chancellor, Oh, I can still take with the queen because the archbishop will be pinning the chancellor. So I know what move I'm going to make there, but uh, I think I will go ahead and save those two gothic chess moves for uh, the Trisis chess channel. So, let's see. How about, look at this. I'd like to read my messages. Hmm. Oh, uh, well, these guys keep arguing. These The team we're playing against is beating us but not by a lot, and they're getting increasingly upset at each other because of some kind of misunderstanding about what they're doing and what they think is a winning variation. So, okay, guys, um, I actually need to go do something, so I'm going to stop the video there, and uh, we'll come back and play some more moves in another video. But that's just kind of how I start off, and then after this I'll be diving into a whole bunch of uh, moves that may or may not require a lot of thought. Okay, guys, uh, that's just part one of Saturday morning getting caught up on green chess. Look for part two here in a few moments. And I uh, hope you like and subscribe and share this video and uh, leave some comments for us. Hopefully good stuff. And we will see you in the next video.